What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and I'm coming at you with Chopping Birds. Something Bird. Week four NFL Pick'em with Chris, who's <laughs> Bird. I'm Chop. He's Bird. Hashtag Chopping Bird. Hashtag Chopping Bird, which is illegal in this country, I yeah. think. Isn't it illegal? I mean, chickens are birds. Chickens are birds. We, 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 we chop them up. Yeah. Turkeys are birds. We chop them up for Thanksgiving. I mean, I, I've had I've had pigeon. <laughs> Not really. I've eaten I've, I've eaten some crow in my day. I've had some quail. <laughs> I've some quail. But and, anyway, and, uh, guys, still the consensus. Do we keep this audio or do you guys want this video? Let us know down below. I vote audio. And I like audio too. I think I like it a lot better. That's cool. Um, also, hit that subscribe button up in the top right corner. And without further ado, let's get these picks right. started. What are the records for last week? The records are... I know I'm losing by two games. I know that I have 21 victories and you have 19, so I so still we, have the crown. We both suck. We both are terrible. I'm trying to break 50. I think... I'd, it'd be nice if we can break like 500 this week. I'll be okay with that. So that way we can get a little. Last week was it just a big fuck. Yeah, last week was just like, like a, everybody who was supposed to win lost. I Carolina know. lost. Arizona lost. I know. Which, Pittsburgh lost. Which kind of scares me down the line. I just don't know what the heck's gonna happen. I don't either. It's ridiculous. All right. Okay, so okay. Thursday night we got the Dolphins at the Bengals in prime time, which means any on the bad. But I'm still gonna pick the red rifle. I'm gonna pick the Dolph. No. But pick, I almost yeah, fucked up. Just, I'm gonna pick the Bengals. The same yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the Bengals. Uh, Andy Dalton, prime time. But I think it's gonna be a pissed off Andy Dalton. We'll see. He's, they one and two. He's gonna have his Red Rider beep gun ready to go. No man. We have the Colts at the Jaguars. This is in London. I found out this game is in it London. It is in London. It's at 8:30 kickoff, Eastern. Um, I think I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna love the wake up the football. Oh, it's gonna be so. Ah, I, I won't be able to. I'm gonna be out of town. Ah. I'm gonna be out of town this mor- uh, so that Sunday morning. Damn it! I won't. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna pick the Colts. I'm gonna pick the Colts too. You know, Andrew lived in London for like four years. For so, it's his little homecoming. So, so. For him. yeah, so let's go. Okay, now we, got, we got the the Panthers. The Falcons. The Panthers and the oh, Falcons. Wait, the Falcons just played yesterday. How are they playing again for today? <laughs> um, I'm going to pick the Panthers. I'm going to pick the Panthers too, but the Falcons were pretty good last night. Even, I mean, it was two bad defenses. Even though Atlanta almost put a 50 burger on the Saints. I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about the Panthers right now. Yeah, their mindset might not be there because. They're definitely not going 16 0 this year, folks. Yeah, they are 1 2. Miami, or not Miami, Minnesota kind of. Minnesota's dangerous. Minnesota's very dangerous. Who would have thought? But anyway, let's get let's get to the next one. There we go. We have the Lions at the Bears. Uh, Lions. Little Lions as well. The Lions. Oh, we have, we've agreed on every single pick. So we've far. agreed on every single pick, and I'm not liking where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> at this rate, we're still be two games back next week. No, exactly. If we pick every single game. Now we got the uh, future Hall of Famer Belichick Patriots versus the Bills. Um, <laughs> even though the Bills had an impressive. Win last week against Arizona. Against Arizona, I'm still gonna pick Belichick and potentially Julian Edelman behind center. <laughs> I don't know. And he's gonna win. <laughs> Belichick wins with everybody. Yeah. Who would have thought they'd be four and zero? Oh? I without. I said three and one at the best. Yes. Losing to Arizona. Every every single like sports broadcaster is like, oh, this is a controversy. They don't need. They don't need Tom Brady to win. They need games. Tom Brady. It's like you still need Tom Brady. You're gonna have a four and zero team without Tom Brady. You're gonna you can have like a sixteen and zero team with Tom Brady. Yeah, so Brady can get them those. I mean, I'm, 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 I know I already chose Green Bay and Pittsburgh as my Super Bowl pick, but my backup, New England's gonna make it. I think I already said New England. New England's gonna crush I think, it. I think New England was gonna be my AFC. All right, so. here we go. So we got the Seahawks, and the Jets. Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. Six pick versus the Jet versus the Seahawks. Wow. Well, Six. And picks. Russell Wilson. Hurt. hurt his knee or his ankle. Here's his ankle. So I don't know. I'm still gonna pick the Seahawks. So I think they have a better team. But the Jets. I can't. Ryan pick. Six. Ryan six pick trick. Oh <laughs> six picks. Six he seven. had one going into the game. He had six. That's what, that's what the season stats. And like three. He was like three imagine, touchdowns. Imagine if you had him in a negative point league, <laughs> which is like negative two points for every pick. You could. You, but you could have finished with negative points for Ryan Fitzpatrick. I would have resigned from fantasy football <laughs> if he was my quarter. Really? Well, he, he was my quarterback. He was on the bench, though, but he still got, like, two points. Right. But that was like, oh, yeah. Jesus. Now we have the Browns at the You Like That of Washington. I'm going to pick the You Like That, even though I like what they're doing with Terrell Pryor and 
Cleveland. You can do whatever, man. Like making him a little gadget player. That's you can awesome. Run, pass, throw, whatever you want him to do. Seventy-five popcorn sold. I was told at the stadium Good for him. this week, last week. That's weekend. a new record. But is, I'm this, just, is this the phone call desk for the reception desk? This is the reception desk. <laughs> I'm on a roll <laughs> all day. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go Redskins. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go Redskins. They look pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. At the Raiders, at the surprisingly, not to me, I'm not surprised, but the undefeated Ravens. It's good for them. The train's gonna keep going. I'm gonna pick Baltimore this week. Yeah, Oakland. I mean, they beat Tennessee, but only by seven points. Yeah. My team's not that great. I'll probably be real. Yeah. I'm still hoping for seven to nine. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, Ravens. Speaking of the, speaking of the Titans, with the Titans at Houston. Houston. You know, Houston got beat by a third string last week. Yeah, but Houston is probably going to take that game. Right. They're probably going to, like, train, like, three right. times as hard Coach as Coach Malarkey is not the same as Belichick. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. And we go to Texas. And I am officially on the wagon, everybody. Oh. I, am, I am back on Denver's wagon. Woohoo! I picked against the Denver. I have picked against, I have picked against Denver twice this year, and they have proven me wrong both times. Took you long I enough. T- I told I told Simeon he needs to step up because his his defense can't score him 14 points a game. And what does he do? He He's, throws three touchdowns. I think I've picked Denver every single week except for week one. I mean, I mean, I I like what Denver's doing. I like their defense. I mean, oh, they're playing the Buccaneers, by the way. Okay, so yeah, Denver <laughs> definitely Denver. So they're gonna they're gonna win. Yeah. Now we have to uh, make the Rams and the Cardinals. Some real Cardinals. The Rams finally scored a touchdown. Good for them. The first time that they scored since 2003. Or not 2003, 1994. 1994. Yeah. Good so for good them. for them. Good for them. It took them a while. <laughs> and Jeff Fisher stole the job. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> now we got the Saints and the Chargers. I'm going to go with the Chargers. I'm, this, this might change for my other one, but I'm going to go with the Chargers for now. But the Saints, I mean, they can outscore everybody, but the Chargers have all... They outscored everybody. They outscored every single team in the first quarter. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, the, the Chargers. They were gonna. They're gonna keep. They're gonna keep I thought they. Ball. They should have. They almost won against the Colts. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we have the Cowgirls at the 49ers. Go Cowboys! Going yeah. to California. Gonna light them up. Yeah. I mean, Dak Prescott is. Winners enjoyed. aren't bad. The Cowboys are okay. So, I guess okay is better than not bad. Yeah. So Cowboys win this week. Thank you, Elliot Harrison from NFL Network, for ranking the Cowboys the number nine team in the in the league right now. So thank you for that. You know what? I don't. There's. I feel like there's not any difference between the number nine team and the number nineteen team. <laughs> Everyone's either one and two or two and one. It's just the mixed bag. No one is consistent except for the five undefeated. Where they get the, where they get the top five. It's so. just the mixed bag of a bunch so, of I mean, two if you're one nine, if, if you're nine, if you're ranked nine, if you're ranked nineteenth, you still have a chance. So you're still as far as I'm concerned, so go Cowboys, I guess. Yep. Never hear me say that again. Uh, so what's in a row you think that was a problem? I don't know. Well, you have to be smart eventually. <laughs> but we have the Kansas City... Uh, I was going to say the Kansas City Pittsburghs. The Kansas City Pittsburghs. I guess <laughs> the... <laughs> We got Pit- we got Kansas City at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's gonna bounce back. Pittsburgh after facing the uh, Windswagon last that week. Was... The Windswagon hype is real. Yeah, the Windswagon is kind of scaring me. Cause it, we... it, ain't, it ain't the Giants that y'all need to worry about. It's the Eagles. Thank God we have a bye week between the Packers and the Eagles. Like, we're gonna need it. Okay, at the beginning of the season, I saw that as a most likely win, even with Dak in there, because the Eagles aren't that great. But the Eagles are very good at the moment. They already had a decent defense, and now they got the yeah. wind wagon. So thank God we got that bye week. So <laughs> yeah, Steelers are gonna win. So I'm just like, oh. Even though Kansas City did win last week, yeah. we're gonna Steelers. Then we got the Vikings at the Giants. Vikings, man, are lighting up. So I'm gonna pick like, the Vikings. Where did Bradford come from, man? Uh, Bradford. They didn't even. They didn't have Peterson. He came from Oklahoma. No, <laughs> I played him twice. So, so if you're Minnesota, if you're Minnesota, get any quarterback from the state of Oklahoma, you'll do all right. Tarkenton. Where Tarkenton come from? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna predict he came from a northern state, but anyway. But North yeah, North Dakota. North Dakota. Like North wins. Dakota. North Carolina. <laughs> I like it. North North Texas. Oh my god. Anyway. So Amarillo. Amarillo. Um. Amarillo. So guys, those are our picks. Yeah. If you guys didn't notice by now, we picked every single game alike. Yeah. This week. So that means I will remain the crown champion. By two games. By two games. So hopefully. Next week we'll have better games. This this week is just kind of like a, like you know, we'll no really, no toss ups really. It's like a no brainer kind of week. Watch them. We're gonna we're gonna go like eight and eight. We're gonna go eight and eight. It's like oh no brainer. My bad. Um, but yeah, guys, leave us your picks. Did you pick the same as us? Did you pick differently? Let us know if you want to keep this audio or if you want us to go back to the video so you can see our beautiful Texas faces. And uh, of course, like I said before, hit that subscribe button right there in the upper right hand corner. Yeah. Uh, 
Leave us your picks down below on my Facebook or my Twitter. Vine and Snapchat are out. I'm sorry about that. But, so, thank you guys so much for dropping by once again. Always remember my little pig. Let's call him Pork Shop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and we will hear back from y'all next week. Cause we're not, you can't see us next week. Y'all hear back from us. Y'all hear back from us next week. So, bye, guys. Bye.